Chris, will you take this woman to be your wife? To live together in the holy covenant of marriage. You promise to love her, comfort her, honor and live my life to keep the promises I made. Even though I made mistakes, I know I will. If so, answer, I will. I will. Found a heart that was just like mine. To live together in the holy covenant. Found a heart that was just like mine. You promise to love him. And it's the kind Honor of love that can make you blind. In sickness and in health, and for Satan, all of you. Be faithful to see him, him so long as you both shall live. Oh, so, I'm ready. Never been so sure, quite so sick. So, my name is uh, Jason White. Uh, I'm the best man. I was reminded I'm not the best friend, I'm the best man. But uh, to get a position like this, you have to have a lot of blackmail on a person. And you have to threaten it around a lot of people that are involved in business or uh, shoot your boss. So that's how I got this position. I first met Chris at uh, Oklahoma State at the dairy. Uh, he always loved to tell a story. He used to puff out his chest, and now these days he puffs out his belly. But he always used to tell this story about how he was a this big old senior, and he took this little freshman under his wing. and. He taught him all these good habits and all these really, really bad habits of college. So I sat down and I reflected through those habits and really bad habits. Jordan went through them. She cut out a lot of bad habits. So we're going to go with two good habits. Uh, two of them that stand out to me that Chris is going to start crying and this is going to be me next. Uh, but two of the uh, habits that really came out, first one was friendship on the quality of friendship. It's based upon more of the quality instead of the quantity. Chris and I have lived 10 years away from each other. I've met his family. His family didn't run me off. You, the first time you meet Carrie, <laughs> you, you rethink about being friends with Chris. But the second one that I would look at is if I ask each one of you guys to raise your hands how many times you met Chris, that he was way too way back and he calmed you down. I, I don't want you guys to raise your hand because you blocked the view of me. And I'm up here, but uh, when you uh, there's so many times that Chris has been one of those people that you call and you're really mad, you're frustrated about something. He's the one that calms you down, and I've watched him doing that with Jordan multiple times. A lot in the last three days, a lot. Uh, but that's something that's really stood out to me. So when Chris told me that he had uh, met Jordan, uh, I can tell you the first time I met Jordan was at Granny's Cafe down in Stillwater. Uh, I wanted to meet her because she'd be inheriting me, and I wanted to see if this was a good fit for me also. So we met up at Granny's Cafe. Uh, the first thing when Chris said something stupid, which is about every other word, uh, she shut him down, and I was in love too at that moment. to thank Jordan and Chris's parents and family for everything they've done coming up to this wedding. Uh, Jordan and I met in college at Murray. I guess she remembers our first trip to Texas together for the block and bridal trip is where we got closest. Joining block and bridal was both of our motive, I think, of going on that trip. Uh, we have so many, many memories shared through college. All of my Remember the one time in college stories usually involve Jordan, which I'm not going to share any of those tonight because <laughs> I got told I couldn't. <laughs> I've gotten to know Chris over the past few years of them being together. I love getting to see my best friend so happy and in love. 
I love you both and I can't wait to see what the future holds for you too. So let's raise our glasses to Chris and Jordan. Wobble baby 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 wobble ba